The 3D printed gears on my new telescope worked out great, except for the seams where I had to join the sections together. These gears were too big to print in one piece, so they had to be broken up. The joints, of course, were imperfect, leading to bumps in the motion. I recently figured out a technique to repair these joints. Great build stop! I'm going to make a silicone mold of a good section of the gear, then grind off the gear teeth of the joint area and remold them using a casting urethane. I started by making this 3D printed mold box to help making the mold easier. Vacuum bagging gum tape is used to seal the edges of the mold box, but molding clay or wax would be better. I'm just using this stuff because it's what I had. I'm using this mold making silicone kit I got from Amazon. It was cheap and I only needed a small amount. It's easy to use since it mixes in a one-to-one -one ratio and doesn't really require to be vacuum degassed. The gum tape isn't really providing much of a seal. This made a bit of a mess, but the part still molded just fine. While I wait for the silicone to cure, I'll grind away the gear teeth. I have to admit that taking a Dremel to these parts that I spent so much time on is kind of nerve wracking, but you gotta just trust the process. I added some grooves, one for filling the urethane and the other for an air vent. I also added these dimples to provide a bit more bite for the casted urethane and to make for an overall stronger part. Here's a finished mold. I cut two small holes, one for the fill and the other for the vent. Then just using electrical tape to hold the mold to the part, I want to lightly squeeze on the mold to help make sure that it seals against the good gear teeth. This urethane casting resin is also an Amazon find. I'm adding a drop of black dye to make my repair match the existing teeth. I then use a syringe to inject the resin into the mold. You want to fill slowly until you see the material start to flow up out of the vent. You can use a heat gun to help cure, which only takes about 10 to 15 minutes.
The results are not quite perfect. There's some air bubbles and some voids. I think this is likely due to the fill and air vents being not quite optimal. Also the strength and durability of these new teeth are kind of unknown at this point. I wouldn't be confident in these lasting very long in a high torque, high RPM type of scenario. For my purposes, however, they should be just fine and the overall result is a huge improvement. Let me know what you guys think of this procedure down in the comments, and if you found the video useful, help me out with a like and maybe consider subscribing. Thanks.